Evelyn, thanks so much for tuning in to my channel today. I do appreciate it. It is really hot outside. It is summertime now and temperatures are rising from state to state. I have orders for retainer butter and I want to share with you how I prep, how I wrap my retainer butter and how I ship my retainer butters to my customers. Okay. Here is my retainer butter, all made and ready to ship. It is really hot where this butter is going. It's going uh, to Texas. I like to do, before I pack my retainer butters, I like to get my alcohol spray and a paper towel, spritz it, and wipe the bottle down very well. The label will stick to the jar so it's nice and clean so here are the labels my retainer butter and so now I am going to put the labels on then put the label on the back and I'll take it one step further and put a piece of um, packing tape across it Now that my retainer butter has the label on the front and the back, it is time to get the box ready. Here is my box. And what I like to do is to put a sticker on the box so when my customer opens up their box, they will have a nice message. And here is the sticker. I hope this package brightens your day the same way your order did mine. So, when my customer open their box, they will be greeted with this message. Then I like to line the box with bubble wrap. And I like to put in a sheet of tissue paper. The box is all set. And next I am going to take the retainer butter. I have an order for one retainer butter. So now I am going to wrap the butter with this coolant foil that I got off of Uline. It will help keep your butters from melting. You never know how long your, your customer order will sit on a hot mailing truck. So to be on the safe side, wrap your handmade butters, facial cosmetics, in coolant foil. And I have cut a sheet of the foil. Here's the retainer butter. Here's my foil. I'm gonna roll it. And then I'm going to tape it. And then I am going to tape the bottom. And then take a second piece of coolant foil, place it on top. Okay, now that the retainer butter is here, all wrapped in the coolant foil. Next, what I'm going to do, I like to add these filled air protectors just to keep it from moving around. I give a thank you card and their receipt. I also include a retainer butter instruction card. And then I fold it over and close the box. That. And there. So this is how I keep my retainer butter from melting uh, during shipping. I hope you enjoyed the video watching how I pack my retainer butter during the hot summer months. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And also check out my Etsy shop. Thanks for watching.